I'll do a little video today to talk about something that I keep hearing uh, within the realm of discussion on Georgia's offense, and that's Stetson Bennett is game manager uh, for their offense and for Georgia this season. And when you look at the numbers and the data and then also watch him on a play-by-play -play basis, you know that he is anything but the, your stereotypical game manager. So first, the data. He's number one in the Power Five in terms of yards per attempt, almost a full yard ahead of Caleb Williams from Oklahoma. He's number two in the Power Five in terms of average depth of target, how far down the field he's throwing the ball on average. So now let's look at a couple of plays from the Missouri game just to kind of show you uh, what I'm talking about. First play, first drive of the game, twins to the wide side of the field. You have a three-level read. You have Adnan Mitchell on a go route. You have Arian Smith in the slot on an out and up. And then you have James Cook leaking into the flat off of the play action. If you watch through here and you see when Stetson gets to the top of his drop, right there, Mitchell has taken this corner and the safety with him. Aaron Smith's trying to get his head around and get the corner to bite. Goes into his up, out and up, up the field route. Stetson keeps his eyes on him there. So what does the game manager do in this situation? The game manager looks at the coverage on Aaron Smith and says, and by the way, this is what Stetson should have done on this play, is check it down to James Cook in the, in the flat, let him go do his thing because he's got the ball in space and the linebacker is, is, is behind him in coverage. But what does Stetson do? Stetson takes a shot. He gives his receiver a chance to make a play. Arian Smith, unable to make a play. The corner actually plays good coverage. Next play, we look at, this is just after uh, Missouri jumped off sides. Georgia's now in, got a first down in plus territory. You have trips to the wide side of the field. And then you have Darnell Washington motion, motioning into uh, the formation. And we get to here right before the snap. Now, what is this play? It's a true shot play. You've got both Adonai Mitchell on the bottom of the screen and then Burton at the top of the screen on a you know stop and go routes seeing which one he likes the best. Now, with Kyrus Jackson in the slot, running an uh, in-cut route into the middle of the field, pulls this, guy, pulls this safety away, uh, and thus gives Stetson the option uh, to go the deep route to Burton. But if you look at when he hits to the top of his drop, right there, and puts his eyes on Burton, Burton makes his stutter move, stop, stop. The corner stays, for the most part, in phase. Now, what does the game manager do in this situation? This, the, you know, your stereotypical game manager. Oh, he check, hits the check down to his back, or he sees that Justin Schaefer's doing work here at, at the left guard spot, and they're taking care of the pass protection, and he just runs the ball, you know, gets five yards, runs the ball, and moves on. No, Stetson doesn't do that. Takes his shot, gives the receiver a chance to make a play. Burton makes a great play, big play, touchdown shortly thereafter. This narrative that Stetson Bennett is a game manager, there's anything but that. And if you actually think from a, what Georgia's offense to reach his full potential with him in the quarterback position, he's to actually blend more into that game manager role and take the check downs when they're there. Because when you watch him, you look at the numbers and you watch him on a play-by-play -play basis, he is definitely not a game manager.